There are five things that I've learned about myself through playing Civilization V, which is handy because it is called Civilization V. One, I would make a terrible and very indecisive world leader. Essentially, when I was playing the game, uh, I had to make very simple decisions and I would agonise over them for minutes at a time, which meant that the one game that I've played has lasted 20 hours, much to my opponent's disgust. Two, I do like to think of myself as quite a pacifist, but actually I get the feeling that there's a tiny little, like, I don't know, Napoleon inside of me. Because it only took me, like, a few turns until I was trying to murder everybody. Three, even though I am massively, massively barbaric and warlike, whenever I destroyed a city, and I mean crushed a city and its people, I would always make sure that that city and its people were then like really well looked after. So I would destroy Cape Town, which by the way I battled for a thousand years, uh, and when I finally destroyed them, I just went in and built a hospital and a university and a school and a theatre. Point four. Because that's quite a telling thing that Civ V's actually told me about myself. I like to think that this is a world where we can have lots of different ideas and opinions and all live in this harmonious beautiful way but I think possibly the reality of that is not that at all and actually I have to use uh, force whether that be in Civ 5 physical or in the real world mental uh, to hopefully convince other people to come round to your way of thinking point five it turns out I really like strategy games even though I thought that they were absolutely for boring people before I really played much Civ. I played, was it Pharaoh or maybe Caesar 3 beforehand, but I didn't get too far with that. And I like Age of Empires, but me and strategy games are few and far between, and I'm not a massive fan of things like Disgaea and Final Fantasy Tactics. But actually, maybe strategy games are a thing I like, as long as they're the tip, 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 top. And isn't that weird that a game can teach you something just by playing it. Civ's one of those odd titles that creates its own narrative from the actions that you make from it. There's no real big story necessarily that you can play through or anything like that. The, and certainly the big and exciting stories come from the narratives that you weave yourself, the, the, the plots that you come up with in your head, the justifications for the things that you do uh, in the names of peace and or taking over the world. And I never really thought I'd think that about a hexagonal turn-based strategy game, but hey-ho.